Yo, what is up, you guys? Web Bucket, and it's Friday. That means I'm doing this commentary for you guys. So, there's a fly in my room, so it's kind of annoying, and the phone's going off in the background. Oh, it stopped. I almost killed the fly. Anyways, um, this is a pretty awesome gameplay sent. In. Well, this isn't sent in. Um, he asked me to record this for him and uploaded it because of I played with this guy a lot. His name's Nike R10. That's his gamer tag, and I don't know him in person, but um. Uh, it's one of my cousin's friends, so uh, he knows him in person, and I played with my cousin a lot. So uh, that's basically what I've been doing a lot lately. Like uh, I do play with like family now because uh, my family does have a. Um, well, my cousins they have like PSNs and stuff like that. So it's nice to play with someone that you know, and uh, especially that their family. It's pretty fun to show them what you like to do, and stuff like that. And they know I do commentaries. It's just kind of awkward sometimes because they're like. Uh, they're not really too big into that stuff, but they they don't really care what I do. But uh, anyways, this is Nike R10. Uh, he told me to put this up, and it's a pretty uh, epic ass gameplay. This is he went 210 and 15, and uh, he just missed that guy. And it's kind of as you can see, it's kind of fast forwarded a bit because uh, this gameplay was pretty lengthy. It was about like 21 minutes, so I didn't want to make it that long because I don't honestly I don't think I could talk for that long. So it's just I length it. I shortened it down to uh, about uh, 13 minutes, or no, I would say 14 minutes. 14 minutes exactly, almost I think. And yeah, it's pretty epic gameplay. Uh, and he did a lot of spawn trapping on this. You're gonna see it's pretty. It's pretty funny how like the spawns are in uh, demolition. He's playing demolition. If you guys didn't see that already, uh, he's using uh, the Famas, Golden Famas. So he's 15 prestige, I, I think. Yeah, he's 15th and uh, using a motion tracker and a flashbang, so that's a pretty good setup, it's a decent setup. Uh, I want to go with the flashbang though because I just don't like flashbang over concussives. Concussives, feel, I feel like they do a lot more work than uh, flashbangs because flashbangs uh, still go the same, like, uh, they don't slow down the enemy or anything like that. Unlike concussives, like, they slow you down and disorientate you, so. Uh, with a flash you just can't see shit for a long time but yeah anyways um this gameplay is fucking epic and so i'm just gonna talk over it like talk to you guys what i've been doing so far so lately i just got out of school uh like not even that long ago like an hour ago and uh, i've been uh practicing how to drive since my driving li driving license like, test my driver's Behind the wheel test is uh, actually on September 20th, so hopefully I do path pass, and if I do pass, um, I'm gonna be able to drive, and that's gonna be awesome. I feel like I should have learned how to drive earlier because that would have been a lot more responsible instead of me asking for my parents to drive. And um, the reason I didn't drive earlier was because I was just honestly I was just being lazy. Like I could learn how to drive driven easily over the summer, but I was just lazy. Like I didn't want to go out and I just want to play video games all day but sometimes you gotta do your responsibilities and stuff like that so yeah um also um my classes have been going good um not too much work on each of them um I do have a C++ programming if you guys don't know what that is it's basically like a computer the raw computer basically like if you guys ever open up um your what is it the run or not run. Um, just open up your Windows specs and stuff like that. You, you could just see all your what your computer has, like your IP and stuff like that. And basically, like the raw, the raw rawness of your computer. So I'm basically gonna study that. And so uh, I think that's gonna be awesome because uh, I, do, I actually don't even know what C++ is, but um, this is like something I really want to do because uh, I I always. I'm always on the computer and I like to learn new things about the computer whether it be programming or like um, design or making whatever I just love like learning how to do stuff on the computer because I feel like it comes natural to me like I can I easily I understand it more than how I would understand math I guess math or English English is like my worst subject I cannot spell or any for shit like I just can't write for some reason but um, I do enjoy reading though. I I read uh, quite a lot of books. Not really. That's a lie. Uh, I, d I barely read, but um, when I do read, I read like because I like the book. And usually, what I tend to like in genres is like uh, 
more of a non-fiction book because uh, I just like uh, listening more non-fiction about like history like uh, my favorite stories are like uh, Night by Ellie 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 Weisel I think that's who it is but uh, if you guys don't know what that is I think it's a high school book that you guys all read I think by California standards I don't know and the round just is over so they're gonna switch sides and uh, if you guys see that little pauses sometimes that's gonna happen because uh, um, I was actually like making myself a sandwich while I was recording so and I recorded this raw so even the fast like I f fast forwarded it so my apogee won't get um, overheated and stopped so I didn't want it to um, just randomly stop recording oh and then I would have to start o start over and record but uh anyways what was that? oh okay my favorite book is actually Night by Eli Ellie Weisel and what that book's about it's um it's a story about a boy well, it's uh, Ellie Weisel the author himself it's about him growing up in a in the ghetto, in like the uh, the what's it called the the Jewish um, concentration camps. Well, like basically the whole story story about the Jew um, during the Nazi era. Like basically from from get, moving to the ghetto for the first time, and then moving out to the concentration camps, and then finally to the death camps where he escaped. He he actually went to Auschwitz. If you guys don't know that who what that is, it's basically a my, one of the most famous. Uh, concentration or death camps I don't know which one it was but it's really um, it's a really good book so if you guys haven't read it you guys should definitely pick it up you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna enjoy it um, I, I find that like a lot of people like that book almost all the class all the students in the class liked it and I, I, it was, I don't know it just like I just like listening to stories about like um, people going through like hard times and like uh, seeing them turn out to be good or either bad e when they turn out bad if I feel like it's even better because I mean it's reality like n some things don't always go your way but uh, you just gotta keep put moving on and stuff so I really enjoyed that um, well not I don't like enjoying like people's misery or anything like that but I enjoy like like the truth like stuff like that like s stuff doesn't always go your way so you just gotta keep moving don't just give up and stuff like that so yeah um, yeah so that's it for books I know how boring that was for you guys if you guys don't like books. Um, there's some people that actually like say that they hate books, but I don't think they actually do. I think it's just that they just don't like to read. I, I think they like find it their time more useful if they're doing something else, like playing Call of Duty, because that's the most useful thing you can ever learn. <laughs> um, I like playing Call of Duty, but whenever like whenever it gets to the point where like I'm I'm putting Call of Duty over something like. Sometimes I'll put Call of Duty over it, like uh, going to the stores and stuff like that. Like my mom would offer me to go to like to the mall and she'll buy me clothes, and I'd be like, Nah, I'm just stay home and play Call of Duty. And she and then she's like, All right, whatever. And it's usually because I like ever since I started getting gameplay for you guys, I always want to just do my best on Call of Duty and just record that and then just put it up right away. And then I'm like, Yeah, mission accomplished. And I feel like that's like that's it. Like that's that's worthy of my day. I I could just do that for days, but uh, I actually have to do other stuff too, like homework and stuff. Like right now, um, I actually don't have homework. I ha college just started, and so it's like everybody's getting their books through financial aid. I actually have financial aid because I couldn't afford everything, so I I'm actually like paying everything throughout my own money. So yeah, um. So, but people that don't have books and stuff like that, they gave them a week, the first week of college to get everything done. And then the next week, it's actually going to start, so we're just going to uh, start studying. So I don't know how that, how much that's going to affect me. It's probably going to affect me a lot, but not to the point where I can't get gameplay for you guys. Like, I do play, like, I would say a good two to three hours a day. No, that's way too much. I play a good two or three hours, like, a weekend. Like, every every weekend so Saturday and Sunday I'll play for like two or three hours each day so that's a total of six hours at max I think and I, it doesn't really take me that long to get a gameplay it, it depends who I'm playing with actually like if I'm playing with friends I'll probably get it even sooner but if I'm playing by myself it takes quite a bit because uh... it's like this game is also it's not all about teamwork but it, it does help a lot because if your team does know what they're doing like knowing how to spawn knowing how like how the spawns work instead of just rushing in just blindly blindlessly uh, giving the enemy kills and stuff like that so that doesn't work out um, you actually have to like um, 
work with your team, kind of follow them, but not be too close to the point where you guys are just getting raped in bundles. And as you see, like these people, they're like the teams, kind of the enemy teams are kind of sticking together. They're like, um, and they spawn right away until they kill them right away. So that I can't, I can't blame them for what they're, what's happening to them. They're just getting raped. But uh, if they were smart, they, I, I would like try to open up the spawns as much as I can. Like before I died, like I would just run as far as you can and just open up the spawn. And actually, there's a tactical insertion guy, and that's pretty smart because if you guys ever use tactical insertion, um, it's like one of the best things. Like if you're gonna play object objectively, um, which most people don't, I myself can honestly say that I'm a kill whore, and I love to kill people because I don't know. It's like I feel like that's the main point of the game, but also like I I like to work as a team, like where we just have a two ca two cap going, and uh, but if I'm like get on a kill streak and I'm about to get a kill streak, uh, I won't cap shit until I get my kill streak and then go help you help like the team. Um, but but I do un like understand the two cap thing. Like you you have to cap it to have two caps, like A and B at least or B and C. But B for sure, you have to cap it all the time, and um, just protect those flags. Um, that's like the most important thing. I just don't like to like have high scores and then have a a losing um, ending. Like it, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel complete. So you have to win the game and be the boss, the sauce boss, as Epic Meal Time says. Uh, yeah. So um, yeah, as you can see, he's still raping people. He's doing fucking awesome. And that golden for Moss looks pretty awesome. I, I but like I don't really like the golden guns in Black Ops. They're kind of like uh, they don't, they're not really appealing to me. Like I do like them just because like not that many people have them. But um, if they were like more smooth, like how they were in Modern Warfare, like the first Modern Warfare, I think that would be a lot more better, a lot awesomer, and I think that that would look nice as well. So um, I've actually been playing a lot of Modern Warfare. Four or Call of Duty Four, Modern Warfare, the first one. So um, that game's pretty awesome, and I really want to start making montages for you guys. I, I just love montages. Like people can get some awesome clips, and I think I might just do that when when Modern Warfare Three, Two, Three, Modern Warfare Three comes out. I'm a I'm gonna make montages. I'm gonna get into that aspect of YouTube where people are putting up montages at least like once a month or something like that, or I don't know. I, I gotta ask Optic how often he posts up a montage. Uh, Optic Apostle, I'll ask him how often he posts up a montage. I don't want to rush him or anything like that because um, if you rush your clips, um, they're not gonna be that great. So, um, and also, like, if it takes me two months to make a montage, then I'll take the time and do that because uh, I just want it to be perfect. And he's just waiting for that one. Um, oh, look at that! He picks it up. I, I remember I was watching the. Him like uh, kill people and he, one guy had a tactical insertion and he was waiting for him but it got him killed because of that and it was pretty funny when I saw that. But uh, anyways, this gameplay is almost over. I don't actually know how long until it's over. I think it's like 30 seconds or something like that. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay, um, give me a thumbs up, um, like this video, and um, that would help me out a lot actually because that would open up my channel and. I just love doing these commentaries for you guys. I actually enjoy them now. At first, like they were like m really intimidating for me to talk to you guys like a lot, like in person. I mean, through the YouTube. But I actually like it a lot now. It's like a lot more comfortable. So he went 210, as you can see. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until later, YouTube. Peace out.